I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And this is Desmond, Desmond Stonders. Welcome to our extended weekend in Huntley and we're down by Huntley Castle the river's in full spate and autumn is still showing its colours Huntley Castle is a ruined castle in Huntley, Aberdeenshire. It was the ancestral home of the chief of Clan Gordon, Earl of Huntley. Architecturally, the El Plan Castle consists of a well-preserved five-storey tower with an adjoining great hall and supporting buildings. Areas of the original ornate facade and interior stonework remain. A mound in the grounds of the castle is all that remains of an earlier 12th century mot. Originally named Strathbogie, the castle was granted to Sir Adam Gordon of Huntley in the 14th century. King Robert the Bruce was a guest at the castle in 1307, prior to his defeat of the Earl of Buchan. It was fired in 1452 by a force under the command of Archibald Douglas, Earl of Moray. In 1449, the King was at war with the powerful Black Douglases. The Gordons stood on the King's side and with their men involved in the south of the country, the Earl of Moray, a brother of the Earl of Douglas, took the opportunity to sack the Gordon lands. Setting Huntley Castle ablaze, the Gordons returned and quickly destroyed their enemies. Stay with us now as we fly around the area and then take you on a walk.
for a walk. But a brief look at the trees at the car park. In full autumn glory. Down by the river. There's lots of little birds about, but uh, this camera has got absolutely no chance of picking them up. There's a robin in there somewhere. But down here, there's a bridge that I'm about to cross. Oh well. I said I was going on a walk. Now being followed by a robin. Let's take a walk. We're going past a, a wall. Back up onto the road. And as we turn the corner at the wall, you'll see we found a castle. More of the castle and the crows that live there. Let's go and see when it's open. I'm not sure you'll make that out, but at this time of year, Saturday to Wednesday. And, uh, well, perhaps tomorrow, see what the weather brings. It's a slightly different view than last time. Two years since we've been here. But a different camera. Probably here, we're down by the river. I'll show you that in a moment. I just wanted a word. I'm a little bit disappointed, I've been looking for a geocache, and said cache is not available. You can't get close to it, it's all fenced off. Um, it's Harris fencing, temporary. But, uh, we'll have to wait to get that one. Anyway, let me turn you around, go have a look at the river. And there's the River Dedron. Flown over it. We've seen it from the car park. And now we're seeing it nearer the hotel. More of the castle from round on the riverside. You can see more of the old Motton Bailey here as well. Let's take a walk a bit further round and then head back.
castle. This is the, the rear entrance and uh, toilet block. And there's the path back to Desmond. I missed the shot, but I had to leave the tail in. The uh, lady concerned loading up the back of the car here uh, with her sledge and Christmas packages um, pulled across the grass from the Nordic Ski Centre to the car park. That sledge along with her packages. I didn't get a camera up and running quick enough, but at least I got her packing it away into the car. Well, the wind's got up today, so there'll be uh, no flying. The temperatures are up. It's uh, nearly 12 degrees. Let's have a look at the, uh, the state of the trees as the wind blows them about. A lot less leaves about. Oh, there's still plenty. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.